Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike from Sunny Slope Homestead. And today we're driving to Hamburg, Iowa. We're picking up our goats and we're bringing them home. So we're heading to Hamburg, Iowa, which is probably about an hour away to go pick up these goats that were given to us by a very generous person. I won't say his name, but apparently he runs a school program and he has just given these goats to us and because he needs the help. Honestly, he probably needs to get rid of them. I heard he has like 50 animals. He's looking to thin the herd. So this is a mom and her two babies that we're picking up today. Uh, we're going to give him a little donation, obviously, for you know helping his cause and stuff. But um, I can't wait to see what is going on where he has to start giving away some animals which is you know very very nice of him to realize that he can't take care of all these animals and or it's not going to be beneficial for him to do it and uh, you know pass that buck on to somebody else but yes i'm very interested to see what the situation is that we're going to find ourselves into i have to go to my friend's house we're going to pick up a horse trailer or a stock trailer depending on what part of the country you're in or what you're using it for actually but he's gonna let me borrow his trailer and we're gonna load these goats up and we're gonna head home with them and put them in their temporary area that you guys just saw in last week's video uh, and see how it works out I'm trying to get this all done before the Sun goes down because I do not want to be doing this in the dark and I really don't feel like introducing goats to a new enclosure in the dark but it happens so we're kind of rushing for time to get there and back like I said Hamburg Iowa is about an hour away from me and we're gonna see what we can do in the quickest way possible safest way possible as, as well so all right guys i'll see you in a little bit Yeah, so fun fact, if you didn't know this about Hamburg, Iowa, they make Vicks popcorn here. And it's the lifeblood of the town, pretty much. <laughs> I don't know what else they do here, but I know popcorn is their main thing. One of the little guys? Oh, he ain't that small. Fighting me. She's fighting you. We saved one of the baby's lives out here. When it, uh, it was halfway dead when we found it. And me and my friend Kara went in and we bottle fed. It's out walking now. You guys just take care of these for school then, huh? Yep. And then um, that baby one out there with his mama. The black one that kind of looks like that one. Yeah. I had to pull that one out of its mama because the mama was too tiny. Oh. Ah. I, th I think you need some goat ropers. <laughs> Look at this. You're not that. You're not that tiny. You're gonna want to grab the right babies. Yeah. You guys know which ones those are. All right. <laughs> I said that might de be devastating if you take the wrong kids. Huh? You guys up. And this is like a little goat thing right here. What's up, guys? Um, that one's baby mama right here. This one's Pearl. Those two are her babies. That's a uh, dandelion. We haven't named that one. The back pearl. Her Spanish name is Chocolate. Chocolate. I don't know why they keep saying my name. <laughs> you guys quit butting this thing? Now they know they're defeated. Yeah. <laughs> they know they cannot win this one. 
And coming around the backside, we have Lucky. <laughs> It don't look like he has that many animals out here. Is that the one they're trying to catch right there? Yeah, this one. With the white down it. Corner it into that corner, you guys. Hey, Ava, corner it, corner it. You guys right there. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh, there's a little section of the fence open back there. This is entertaining. Yeah. Just watch this. Oh, there we go. Got her. <laughs> So it's just like a 4-H farm or something like that that the they just do built, here? They built their own sheds and everything. That's the third graders. Really? The, the third graders built the sheds. Third graders built sheds. They do a lot. They take care of everything. They have a hydroponic system. In the greenhouse over there, they have fish in there. Tessa might be able to show you some of that. Yeah. Yeah, you don't get any of this at the other schools around nowadays. Everybody gets away from them. Good job. We know you'd do it. She used the least energy you're, and she got yep, it. Yep, your dad called it out. <laughs> okay. ah. That's your mama. Look who I got. Uh. Alright guys, see you in a bit. Are they warm? No. I'm gonna say uh I saw I'll let my chick let your chicken sit on them. Well, we're gonna we have an incubator going right now. Oh, okay. So we have like what thirty of them. Yeah. Nothing misses a chicken up like uh, hatching a duck. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> oh, so we're gonna look at duck eggs, huh? One day at like right after lunch, I came out here and I had to help a go give birth because she was struggling. But there's seven in here right now. Oh, make that eight. Oh. They hurt. They're hiding some. <laughs> yep. People are so lucky to live in small towns like this. The you kids don't understand some of the that they don't do this stuff anymore anywhere else. Nope. And these bowling balls are for the pigs when we get them every summer. Oh, so they can snoot and root them around. Yeah. Last time I was here, I came in with the pigs and they tried ramming me. <laughs> so are those like your four-wheel drive crocs? That's sometimes. <laughs> Most of the time I wear these in here and I really don't care. You got your regular Crocs and you got your four wheel drive barn Crocs. So there's, like, most of the time I'll wear them like this, but when I get, like, I'm gonna run, oh. and I put them in yeah, sports you gotta, mode. You gotta put them in four low, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Look at you. You's a big boy. You's a thick boy. That one looks like it's about to burst. Yeah. I gotta feed the chocolate first. Hey, Ram, get out of here! Where's the Ram? <laughs> what you want, man? I'm trying to get my grub on. What did you guys think of that program? That school program, it was awesome. You know, they had a nice little setup. All those kids that go to that school and take care of those animals built those structures. They take care of the animals. That says a lot about a child and their growing up and their maturity to put their needs, their PlayStation, their cell phone, their whatever, to put those needs before their own is amazing. That's maturity, people. That is what we need more of in this country. I mean, I'm not gonna get on no rant, but it just, I just get stoked when I see things like that because those are the people that will be productive in life and those are the people that pull over and help you out. Those are the people that give the shirt off their back because they were taught to do so. You don't need a farm program at your school to learn those things, but sure does help. I've got to go inside real quick, change my boots out, probably change my shirt, and then grab these goats and show them their new home. We're running out of daylight. It's about six o'clock, 
and we've got to move fast. What's going on? Everybody making out okay? I thought you were only getting a, a, one baby and mom. We got two babies are in there. Sweet. All right, come on, come on, uh, come on, uh, come on. Oh, you're gonna make me fight, fight you out, huh? <laughs> come on, come on. Let's take you in your home. Come on, come on. Easy now. There we go. The babies will follow you. Come on, babies are gonna follow you. Come on, come on. Come on. Maybe they're calling them. Such cool how the baby just like all of it. Yep. Very compacted. Like you like you pulling out in squares. Yep. Gotta give them more place to sleep. Yep. All right. Sorry, fellas. You got to learn the hard way. Yeah. Especially that black one. The black one's the one eating it. They're going to have to learn the hard way that this is a live fence. What? Was the mom feeling it through that toy? No. Whew. They fell through the nose, though. For sure. They learn to stay off the fence. Days. Yeah, they'll clear this whole area out. I want to pick up their baby. <laughs> yeah. I kind of thought they would be a lot bigger. Yep, she caught it. It's okay, Mama. It's gonna be okay. Well, folks, they're settled in. They're kind of figuring out what they need to do, where the places are at what's what what tastes good what doesn't but right now they've got water they've got nice alfalfa and they have some feed we didn't put a molasses tub out or the goat mineral tub out yet but we'll get them acclimated i didn't ratchet strap their house down we're not expected to get any winds and i don't have a t-post so but they have plenty of hay in there, so they're gonna stay nice and warm tonight. I'm wondering if I need to put a cover on that to make it go down a little bit lower. I'm not really sure, because I think they just eat it, so it's gonna have to be made out of wood or something. But I think we're gonna have to plan on building a permanent goat structure besides big, uh, big Bertha right there, because she weighs as much as a house, y'all. And I'm gonna need to get a mini excavator to uh, move that up to the new area which is going to be right oh let me let me see here All right, yeah right up in there so i have to take that big structure and i have to go up that hill and that's why i cleared that hill out and then i have to rotate it right there and put it right in that trail and it's going to take an act of god to move that thing right now it's just where i'm storing my lumber but we might have to build something a little bit more permanent and or I'm gonna to have to get some more of these tubs because I have a possibility of being able to get more of these goats now I know mama has a name but I don't think the two babies have a name look at this isn't this just cute isn't that just precious now they've all uh, 
they've all tested the fence and uh, they don't want nothing to do with that no more the black one there he was trying to eat the fence but so cute we've been waiting for these guys for a while but uh we we're kind of missing on the days and when we we're gonna get them and uh finally it was like ah, it has to be today so i was like oh, rush 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 it's never good to rush people you guys need to go in your goat house if you're getting cold like i said you got this nice big area to go play around in and you want to sit up right here i get it big mean man yanked you out of your home drove you an hour and a half in a cold metal trailer and then yanked mama out by her horns and drug you to this new spot trust me guys i know it was traumatic i know it was traumatic guys but trust me life is going to get better i gave him a little little chicken scratch corn no chicken feed uh, just to get something in their bellies to warm up i know it was kind of stressful but we're gonna let them be we're gonna let them calm down and we'll check on them tomorrow all right, it's the next day, everybody. So we're gonna head down to see how the goats did through the night. I'm losing my grip. Losing my grip. What's up, guys? You guys doing all right? So one thing I did notice, um, because I was checking on them throughout the night, was they didn't want to use their goat house. They slept outside, uh, right by their water, right there and uh kind of by the feeder and they would not go in their goat house i'm not really sure why they're not liking the goat house when i checked on them about 6 a.m they had finally gone in their goat house and but the minute i flashed my light down here they got out of the goat house so i think i just need to let them be and do their thing but what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the rest of this straw here and i'm going to throw it out there so if they choose not to sleep in the goat house or their shelter at least they'll have some dry straw to lay on because it's kind of muddy around here we had some rain the other day today is nice out there's some sun the babies aren't shivering anymore they're nice and warm and i think they're gonna have a better night tonight What's up, baby? So the only thing that's left now is we gotta get these kids something to play with. So we're gonna be on the hunt for Fisher Price play school sets. You know the kind. Everybody's always giving them away. And uh, we're gonna wind up probably building them some, uh, some planks to walk on, some stuff to jump on, and give these little guys something to do. So I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you on the next episode of Sunny Slope Homestead. Hey, and be sure Subscribe and like this video if you want to see future content. All right, see you guys later.